would you say to those that say you are a spoiler candidate? What would you say to progressives who are deeply concerned about your candidacy because you're going to be taking votes away from Hillary Clinton? When you see Donald Trump, do you wish it was you going up against him? Trump supporters saying that President Obama already and his administration already flagged these countries, that, that this is a, an extension of what was done under the prior administration. Talk to us about that. Is that based in reality? Our re-election campaign has received at least $5,000 since December from my Lynn's PAC. Will you return that money? Well, Do you great. think that it may cause sort of some people to speak, be a little suspicious? How can he be an advocate uh, for this issue when his re-election campaign is getting money I, from my I, Lynn's? Bernie, even McKen, WCAX, you've been making the case to voters of color throughout the country, but back here at home, Vermonters, black Vermonters, really concerned that you have not addressed some of their issues. Well, I don't accept that. I think my record on... Hey everyone, I'm headed out to the set right now. Busy night in the newsroom, as always on election night. And you may have heard about the race for governor and where are my glasses? The race for governor and lieutenant governor. Phil Scott and Sue Minter were victorious tonight. Here are my glasses. Uh, but also a lot of statewide races, statewide uh, Senate races that we're looking at tonight. And I've been following those all night. Almost a dozen people running in Chittenden County. Um, Debbie Ingram, who's uh, running, referred to it as a clown car of candidates, which I think is an accurate assessment. That's a lot of people running in Chittenden County. Say hi, Darren. We're about to go on air. Hello. Hey. See you soon. See you soon, everyone. So uh, be sure to watch us tonight for, um, for the latest election results from all the statewide races here in Vermont. We'll see you in just a little bit.